thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be showing how to turn your maternity old jeans into your regular daily jeans, even though you're not pregnant. Please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well. And I'm just going to show you guys here, I'm trying to be as raw as possible. Look at that booty hanging out. Not good. My pants are so baggy. They've always been baggy um, since my whole pregnancy. So I just really love these pants. I think it's been like 40 bucks at Target for these pants. And I just cannot get rid of them. I really like them. I just want them to fit. So because I had a C-section um, right here, it's, it's just I can't have my pants really tight at all. Or it really, really is going to hurt. Literally, it hurts a lot when there's really, you know, tightness under my belly area. And it's just baggy everywhere. So you can see here, my legs, it's just baggy on my legs, my waist. If I wear these pants for maybe like a, I don't know, like two minutes, they literally start sagging, like as you can see before. And I'm just going to take everything in, like I said, just from the sides and from the waist. And just to make sure it's not going to be so um, tight on me. So there it is. I'm showing you what it looks like. And literally had to pick up my pants just to show you, you know. And there it is. There is my stomach where it's still swollen. My daughter is five months. And I can't have my pants too tight like I was saying. So I just have to make sure it's just really comfortable. If not, it's irritating me. So there it is and <laughs> look at that it's so huge on me you guys so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your pants inside and out and if you guys can hear anything else in the background besides the music that's my little baby you need use pins and these are just silk pins you can use regular pins and what you can do is you're just gonna measure around and because I have elastic on the sides, I'm just going to um, fold them like this and basically just to get an idea of how much I need. So pretty much. And as you see on the front, if it's exactly the same all together and yeah, pretty much. So what else do you want to do? is you can pin through the whole thing. I try pin, pinning the whole thing and it just did not work for me. Come here, little baby. So what I'm gonna do is... <laughs> yeah, you know everything. So I'm just going to um, pin just a little bit as you can see here, and it was kind of difficult to do this. I don't know why I did it before, but the pins were just slipping through. And I forgot, like I said, there were silk pins. That's the reason why. So you can either pin it through all the way down your leg if you want to. Or you can just um, get a pin and then just mark it as close to your skin as possible. And as you can see here, I'm literally just struggling. I'm like, no, this, this shit ain't going to work. And, um, yeah. But I use the pins as a guide. And then I literally just stretched out like this. And just got a pin, as you can see, and just literally just marked it. Just pulled and just marked it, as you can see. And that's going to be pretty much it. You just want to just be careful. And just take your time as well. And you don't have to worry if, you know, you put a mark or anything like that. If you have dark jeans like mine. Or if you have light jeans, make sure you get like washable marker or something like that. So you don't have, you know big old mark and now that I did that I just got my pins and I pinned it all through 
for a march as you can see here the pants look a lot tighter this is so awesome it's still inside and out you guys i did not pin um the sides yet but you just want to go through and just pin it and pretty much it and you want to pin the part right here so what you want to do is you want to get a pin and you just want to make sure it's marked because you don't want that part to be saggy as well so i'm just going to mark it with the pin and that's literally just extra fabric so what i'm going to do here is i'm just showing you um i pinned one side of my leg <coughs> excuse me and i'm just measuring it with i think it's like a seam seam something i don't know but i'm just measuring it and i'm going to do get the same measurement so you can see here and then basically just put on the side so what the blue part is the blue part is going to be where you put the pin in so there it goes i'm going to put the pin right there on the blue mark and secure the pin and that's what it is so you can see here I insert the pin and the pin's gonna match with that part if that made any sense whatsoever if it doesn't I'm so sorry there's better tutorials on YouTube for this so you can do it that way or you can do it this way you can fold it in half and you can just freestyle it I like to freestyle most of my stuff and then I kind of regret it but I'm gonna still measure it so anyway I just did the freestyle method where I just flipped it over and I'm literally showing you right now what it looks like. And there it is. So you can tell the fit is a lot better. I still didn't, uh, of course, pin the middle part all the way. Because I don't want to get no pins poked in places. And I still need to do the sides. But pretty much the fit on the bottom where the legs are at is really nice. As you can see. And now what we're going to do is you get to sew another, um, oh my god, sew it again on top with the line you already sewed it. And then you're going to cut the access part off of the extra, oh my god, the extra jean or whatever fabric. Now I did the size as you can tell. Um, I still need to do a little bit more as you can see it's, it's a little bit still loose. That is too loose for comfort. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hope it didn't hurt your ears. And pretty much, I mean, look at the fit. The fit looks a lot better than before. I mean, who really wants saggy pants? So, as the legs look really nice. And pretty much. And I was going to show you the fit again because I did. Um, Sew it just a little bit more and I didn't like it and it was still big so what I did is what I did was I sewed it a little again did it one more time and that's what it looks like I mean it's not so much but I mean it's so comfortable for my c-section as well and it's not saggy I mean the fit is so good right now I really like it. I can really take it in from the back just a little bit on my butt area, but I mean, you never know. I might lose weight, I might gain weight, and just the whole pants fit so much better. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like this video.